Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel and for those of you that are new, I want to say welcome to my universe. In this episode, I'm going to be telling you all the reasons of why I decided to lose weight. So stay with me and let's go see why. Okay, so one of the reasons of why I decided to actually lose weight and go on my weight loss journey is because I can't fit most of my old clothes that I used to wear. Um, I had really cute tops and like these really nice jeans that I want to wear and I can't fit them and it's upsetting to me that I have all these nice clothes and I can't fit them. And I would actually go out and buy new clothes um, in bigger sizes. And then I came to the realization that I can't do that anymore. Like, why would I go out and spend money on buying new clothes when all I had to do was work out and eat right to lose weight to wear my old clothes? Um, when I wasn't able to wear all of my old clothes, I, inst I did not go and buy any more clothes for a while, but I would wear sweatpants and yoga pants. And as you know, if you wear those, you don't necessarily realize that you're gaining weight because the material is stretchy and it's baggy and you don't realize that hey your thighs are getting bigger honey so that was another issue that i was having of you know why i was putting on so many pounds i didn't realize i was putting on so many pounds and then when i would go to tie my shoes sometimes i'll be sitting down and i'm like oh I gotta bend over to pick something up or whatever. Um, when I would bend over, my gut would squeeze together and it hurt so bad. So that's another issue that I had. I was like, I can't bend over, like the most basic function and I can't do it without being in pain. And when I would go to paint my toenails, it would hurt as well. Um, and as the time went by, I started to become very uncomfortable with myself. Um, like I said, when my clothes didn't fit anymore, um, I would still try to put them on. They were very tight and uncomfortable as you can imagine. I often found myself trying to adjust my pants and I was constantly trying to pull them up and I could feel like my stomach hanging over the sides. I had muffin top, um, which of course I don't find that very attractive, but at that time I had to wear those pants and it just was a hot mess and I felt very uncomfortable and self-conscious with myself and I tried to cover up like my muffin top, my gut, which wasn't very successful because I ended up with stretch shirts and they looked baggy and sloppy on me and that was just, it just made it even worse. Also, when I would go to walk, um, I always felt like extra jiggle that made me very uncomfortable so it would be like, um, um, under my arms and um, my legs would jiggle a little more and that made me like really really uncomfortable as well um, and I also always felt sluggish probably from all the bullshit that I was ingesting so you know like the big box of cosmic brownies I would go to them in like three days and I would just eat one after the other after the other and non-stop eating those and then once that box was out I'd go and get um, the s'mores uh, pop tarts and then the blueberry pop tarts it's no wonder my teeth didn't fall out all that bullshit I was eating then I would also go um, not much of a fast food kind of person but during that time I definitely was eating out more um, Burger King they had the two for five sandwiches and I would get two of those big, it was the long, che the long cheeseburger and either the chicken, which was long as well, or the fish. And I would eat both of those, um, plus onion rings. I'm not, I don't like soda too much, so I wouldn't get soda, but I would drink mm, probably water. Um, but as you know, your stomach is this big and you're trying to fit twice as much food in there. And I would just eat and eat and eat and eat until like I was stuffed to the point where I wanted to throw up. That's how full I was until it hurt so much because I put so much food in my system. So that's not healthy for anybody. Also, especially like once you eat a lot of salty foods and a lot of bullshit foods, 
I could feel my face getting bloated, like it would feel like it's swollen. I remember one night I woke up and my hand was like swollen, like and it hurt so bad because it was so swollen. And that's probably because of all the excess bullshit yeah, I'm putting in my system. Like my system wasn't used to eating all this stuff because I went from eating mostly healthy food to just out of nowhere eating bullshit, fast food, Taco Bell, Burger King, McDonald's, all kind of sugary cake foods. It was bad. Okay, enough of that. So on to the next thing. Um, I could feel that my self-esteem was dropping, uh, probably because I couldn't wear all of my clothes and that kind of made me upset that, damn, I'm getting so big, I can't even wear the clothes that I used to wear before. And that is another reason that led me to dressing down and wearing sweatpants and yoga pants. So I would be like, well, what the fuck am I getting dressed up for? I'm only going to go and take my daughter to school and come back. I don't care what people think about me. I don't give a fuck what everybody else thinks about me. And that was something that was bringing my self-esteem down. And I just now realized that it ties into me not being able to wear my jeans or my nice clothes anymore because of my weight gain. And I didn't realize it, but it, it really, you know, made me sad that I couldn't wear my clothes that I used to be able to wear. And I took it out as, I don't give a fuck what nobody says or thinks about me, but I wasn't happy inside. And even though no one outright came and said, damn girl, you, you gaining a lot of weight, I just felt uncomfortable with myself and I know that I had to make a change and I had to make a change soon. So probably one of the contributing things of me gaining so much weight is the fact that I absolutely love wine. I love my Taylor Sport wine. I'll have a cup, at least one cup a day. I love it. And um, all that excess sugar and the alcohol in that drink probably added on to the weight loss. Added on to a lot of um, depressing times for me as well. Because you know, alcohol is a downer. But I'll put that in another video on how I changed my mindset on things. Uh, another thing that I noticed was I was getting varicose veins in my legs. And I'm sitting there thinking like, yo, I'm way too young to be getting some varicose veins in my legs. It's probably from all the toxins from the bad food that I was eating. So I definitely figured like, damn, I have to, you know, straighten myself out or I could really damage my body, my temple. And I realized that I really needed a serious lifestyle change, not even just um, eating better. A whole lifestyle change because I just felt myself going downhill fast and I knew if I continued down this path I would probably destroy my body beyond repair and that's something that I absolutely did not want to do it's my body it's my temple it's the only one that I'm gonna get for the rest of my life I have to take care of it Thank you guys so much for staying tuned to this video. I hope you really did find value in this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And if you're going through the same thing that I'm going through, or you have any suggestions that you want to give to me um, on your weight loss journey, if you've already gone through one, um, leave it down in the comments below. If you want to join me on this weight loss journey, also let me know down in the comments section below. Um, so that I know that you're with me and that you're listening to me and that I'm inspiring you in some kind of way to get healthy, get fit, and get motivated. I'll also be posting a video of my weight loss plan soon, so don't forget to go check that out. If you want more videos like this one, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and every time I upload more videos, they'll get emailed to you. How convenient is that, right? And until next time, what do I always tell you? Peace.